cook with me video today is a chill sunday cooking and i'm making one of my favorite sweet chili chicken this is inspired by my favorite takeaway meal sweet and sour but i've put a little twist in it and made it like a sweet chili one and it's super easy and simple to make i'm using thighs for this recipe because it's the best part of the chicken and it just has a lot of flavor to it so as you guys can see i'm seasoning my chicken with salt black pepper some chinese five spice some soy sauce and of course some garlic and ginger i'm then going to give that a good mix coat it in this delicious marinade and i'm going to allow it to sit for about 20 minutes or so before i then coat it with my flour so here i have half a cup of flour i'm going to pour my chicken into the flour and again i'm going to coat this i'm using a mixture of flour and cornstarch and it's just going to give my chicken that nice crisp batter and it's also going to have a slight crunch to it which i really like and so yes i'm just coating the chicken and all that flour before i set aside so in a pan i'm using my trusty wok i absolutely love this wok it's been very useful and is well used <laughs> so um here it is and i'm just frying my chicken I'm frying it in some peanut oil, but you can use peanut, canola, vegetable oil. I like peanut oil because it gives my chicken a nice crisp texture and it fries really well. See, here's the chicken pieces. I learned that it's very important not to overcrowd the pan because that will affect the crispiness of the chicken. So if you have to, it's best to fry it in small batches. So I'm going to fry this for about 8 minutes, just turn it on each side and then when that's sizzling away I'm going to start quickly on my sweet chilli sauce. All you need is some brown sugar, a tiny bit of vinegar and some water and then I'm going to add in some orange juice, I like the flavour of orange and chicken as well and then my Chinese five spice. And then I'm going to give that a good stir and I'm just cooking it on a very low heat and as I'm stirring that I'm going to work on the cornstarch mixture so I have here about a teaspoon of cornstarch with about two tablespoons of water I'm just giving it a stir because this is what is going to thicken my sauce also I want to mention to you guys for this recipe I am using jasmine rice so I'm going to wash my rice and cook it before I get started on the actual sauce and putting everything together. So here I have about two cups of jasmine rice. I'm gonna wash it with some cold water. The trick to jasmine rice really and truly is to leave it to sit in ice cold water for about 20 minutes, you drain and then you cook it. This allows the grains to separate, but it also allows it to be moist as well. So I'm just gonna cook it in my rice cooker and then I'm gonna get straight on with my sweet chili sauce. I said sweet, sweet chili sauce. <laughs> so here I'm slicing some tomatoes and onions. I just use whatever vegetables I had available, but of course if you have like a stir fry veggie medley available, then you can use that too. So again in the pan, I'm gonna pour some oil and then I'm going to fry my onions and my tomatoes for about three to four minutes. I want it to soften, but I don't want it to lose its crunch. So I'm just gonna stir fry it on high heat and get everything like worked in before I add my fried chicken pieces to the pan. So once I've stir fried the vegetables or the tomatoes and onions, I'm going to add in my fried chicken and I'm going to stir fry that for several minutes, followed by my homemade sweet chilli sauce. You can make the sweet chilli sauce and keep it in the fridge, you can make it in batches. It also works really well as a dip. So yeah, that is the sauce. So I'm just stir frying it on high heat for several minutes and when that's done my loves, it's time to plate it up. I was having some friends over so I decided to just do a nice little setting for you guys to show you. But yes, I'm serving it on this sizzling pan you find in your favorite Chinese restaurant. And there you have it, my loves. Sweet chili chicken, Sunday dinner, 
easy to make. I'm going to leave all the ingredients down below. I'm also going to have it on my blog as well for you guys to recreate. And let me know what you think. Thank you so much, my loves, for watching this video. And stay tuned for my next recipe one. Thank you.